Hey, what's up guys? We're here at Muscle Farm Headquarters today. Today I want to take uh, time to go over some band training. Now what happens is a lot of times I talk about doing band training on the lower body or upper body speed day. I'm a huge fan of West Side Barbell, which most people know. It got me really strong using that system. The problem is if you work out in a commercial gym, you probably don't have the necessary things that are essentially like West Side certified so you can do this type of training. So today, I'm going to show you how I rigged up things at our gym to utilize the same type of training that you can do at yours too. So check this out. All right. So if you got, first of all, make sure that your uh, your rack is bolted to the ground. That's pretty key, right? Or this thing will topple over on you. I got some of the bands set up on the lower body speed day. You'll do speed squats or speed deadlift. Now, what that will mean, come over here, Drew, check this out, is you need to get the loop of your band wide enough almost as two dumbbells sitting side by side. Okay, now what I've got here is the rack around a dumbbell. Because when we do speed squats, we do eight to 12 sets of two sitting on the box and exploding. This is what you call your light band. They go light, average, and strong. Uh, the, average, the average you can get up on the bar if you don't have a monolith, the strong is pretty tough. But this, this would be the lighter band. You go around uh, two dumbbells. If the, if the rack's not bolted to the ground, you make sure the dumbbells are at least 100 each. That'll give you the wide enough loop. You pull it up onto the bar, and this adds resistance as you go through the motion. So essentially, when you come off that box, you're springing through more resistance that can average from 50 pounds up to 200. If you don't have these type of bands, you can actually use the mini band, which is the same band that we use for speed bench or for speed deadlift. That's not usually how the gyms use them that are set up for West Side, but you can get away with it and it, and it worked pretty good for us yesterday. And so the basic the way that you hook it up is just go take the band down around, just like so, and then up on the bar. Easy as that. So if you use the mini bands, do it like that. If you're using the other bands, you just need one loop. Alright? So that's for your speed squats. We'll do a video on the speed squats too so you can see the exact form. So after you're done doing speed squats, it's usually right in the speed deadlifts. Now, for a West Side Certified Gym, they'll have a platform that has two different pins so you can put your bands across. Here, we've got it set up with big dumbbells, 95 to 100s. Same band is wrapped around the back of this dumbbell, across over top your bar, onto this. Now what this does is when you deadlift through this band, it can create up to 200 pounds of pressure at the top. And so if you're doing six doubles, five, six, seven, eight doubles after your speed work, it just makes you crazy explosive. I didn't work with anything over about 225 um, for speed work when I was getting ready for my first major meet and pulled 500 like the bar was empty without any, you know, without any uh, bands on it. So it'll make you crazy fast. And so this is two ways that you can hook these up at your commercial gym, because I want you guys to be able to start doing these things. Now we're gonna head over to the bench and I'll show you how I rigged that up. This facility's pretty crazy, eh? <laughs> All right, so check this out. So now, for your speed bench. Uh, the way the West Side does a speed bench is usually you go nine triples. You'll do three sets with a close grip, three sets with a medium, three sets with a little wide or the medium not real wide, but kind of in that, uh, that range. Use between 90 plus on your dumbbells for the floor. Set it up where it wedges with a quarter or 45 against the bench so this thing will not move. Once again, you double up under the, the mini band, go up under the dumbbell, up on top of the bar, and it makes your triceps crazy strong. Because the key is, most of the time if your benches are stalling, it's not because of your chest. It's usually because your triceps are weak and you can't extend it out. And so when you're working your speed and you're creating uh, more speed with the bar, one, you'll get through those plateaus where you're getting stuck at because your bar is just moving faster, but two, your triceps will get way stronger. And so you can use this with um, there or you can use chains. So it depends on what your gym has available. You can do speed work with either. But so basically, if you, if you think about it, if you just get mini bands, in reality, if you have a setup like that over there, you could do speed squats, deadlift, 
and bench. And so if you don't have a pair of mini bands in your bag to make you better, I think they're like 25 bucks. You can't beat it. So that's, I think, what you need to do. I just hope that this will basically open up some eyes. Now, you're going to look crazy at your gym. I, I take pride in that, though, because then people are going to have to ask you where you got it from, what you're doing, and you can say that you learned it from the muscle farm guy. So that's, that's the way I like to hear it right there. So uh, hopefully that will uh, help out your training. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.